This country is located on the opposite side of the world from the United States. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be continuing our travel series with a look at the People's Republic of China. The People's Republic of China, more commonly referred to as simply China, is the most populous country in the world with a population of over 1.3 billion. The host of the 2008 Olympics, Beijing is the capital of China. English is becoming more popular in China, however, most Chinese people are uncomfortable with spoken English. Mandarin is the most popular language, and it has many dialects. Cantonese is one of these dialects, and it is spoken by millions of Chinese residents. The Chinese climate is a varied one, with monsoon winds dominating the climate. Dry winter winds and humid summer winds are likely to occur. However, because the country has large differences in latitude, longitude, and altitude, both subarctic and tropical climates can be found. With its very climate comes a wide variety of landscapes. Major mountain ranges, including the Himalayas and the eastern half of Mount Everest, grasslands and major rivers, such as the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, can all be found in China. Chinese cuisine has become popular in many parts of the world, with Cantonese and Sichuan being some of the most recognizable styles. Because of great differences due to region, many quite varied styles of food can be considered traditionally Chinese. Most dishes highlight food in bite-sized pieces, ready to be picked up and easily eaten. Art in China has a rich history, varying with each ruling dynasty. Their art is influenced by religious figures, teachers, philosophers, and even political leaders. Some examples of art in China include Chinese paper cutting, calligraphy, and cloisonné enamels. As well as these fine arts, one can find traditional performance arts as well, including Chinese opera, theater, and traditional dances. The image of a dragon has traditionally served as the country's national emblem. However, recently, the giant panda has come to be used as a symbol as well, appearing on commemorative coins. Because of its babyish cuteness, the symbol of the panda is a popular one among the public. Chinese architecture has had a lasting influence on architecture in other Asian countries, such as Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. Decorative details have basically been the only change made to the centuries-old technique, with structural principles staying relatively the same. There are certain characteristics that are common to all Chinese architecture, regardless of region. Traditional Western architecture emphasizes height, whereas Chinese architecture finds visual impact in the width of its buildings. 